Welcome to the 2018-19 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle Video number 16. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue our efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This weekly whistle video will focus on two end of half or end of game situations. First, let's look at the rules. Rule 5-1.19 Article 19 In any period when the game clock displays tenths of a second and play is to be resumed by a throw-in or a free throw when three-tenths of a second or less remains on the game clock, a player may not gain control of the ball and attempt a try for a field goal. Such player can only score a field goal by means of a tap, of a pass, or of a missed free throw. During this throw-in play, there is four-tenths of a second remaining on the game clock. Number two blue catches the ball and quickly releases the ball on a successful shot. This basket is legal and should count. Had there been only three-tenths of a second on the game clock, number two blue would not be allowed to catch and shoot, and this shot attempt would not have counted. Rule 5-1.1 and .2A Section 1. Scoring. Try for a goal. Article 1. A try for a goal is an attempt by a player to score two or three points by throwing or tapping a ball into his basket. Article 2. A goal is made when A. A live ball that is not a throw-in enters the basket from above and remains in or passes through the net. Rule 5-5.1.D and E. Section 5. Dead Ball. Article 1. The ball shall become dead or remain dead when D. An official blows the whistle except when a try is in flight. E. Time expires for the half or extra period. Number two, red, attempts a shot with 2.5 seconds remaining in the half. Number three, white, tips the ball into his opponent's basket. When the game clock hit zeros, the ball had entered the basket from above and remained in the basket. This basket counts even though the defensive team tipped the ball into the basket. Had the clock went to 0, zero, zero prior to the ball entering the basket from above, the ball would have become dead and the basket could not count. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. I hope that this weekly whistle helps inform and educate you about the rules of the game. Thank you for your interest in college basketball.